Jared Anderson's rise through the world rankings and return home might remind longtime fans of another fighter who'd stayed true to his roots. The pride of Monroe, Michigan, Bronco McCart often wore the Monroe High School M on his trunks. He captured the WBO junior middleweight title in, 20, in 1996 and scheduled his title defense against Winky Wright at the Monroe County Fairgrounds. McCart's first pro fight in his home. The former champ is in Toledo for the Italian Bowl Celebrity Golf Tournament and Anderson's fight as well. Excited for what the future holds this Saturday and beyond. It's a huge deal to have your community um, turn out for you because it shows you that it, for me it was like kind of my way of saying thank you by doing the fight here for all the support that you have given me through the years. So they need to jump on now because this kid's going to be heavyweight champion of the world or he has a real legitimate chance of being heavyweight champion of the world. And the fact that they're bringing it here top rank, which is huge in the boxing business, it's huge for the city of Toledo, huge for the state of Ohio. He, he just, he has all the goods. Charisma, too, you know what I mean? He's got a good look um, and, and, and he can fight. That's the bottom line. A couple years ago in a radio station, I was asked about Jared Anderson and I said, listen, first time I saw that kid fight, he has all the tools. I think this kid has very great like real potential to be heavyweight champion of the world. I think he might be maybe maybe a year away from it, but that kid, if he, if he stays focused, keeps doing what he's doing, Jared Anderson is gonna be a household name, gonna be one of the greatest American heavyweights that we've had in the last 10, 15 years.